so much for inviting. Um, I hope this um, presentation will be not so boring. I'm going to cover a little bit uh, the other side of uh, uh, product development, which is marketing. Not many people understand it because lots of people are from tech industry and they saying that this is like wasting of your time. <laughs> but we are always trying to think about that we are building a business, not a project. That's why we need to think uh, about the way how to grow this business, how to market, how to find the um, like target audience, approach them, talk to her and uh, finally sell the product. Without these basics, it's really hard to do anything in Web2 world, Web3 world, in any world. So I'm, uh, I will talk a little bit about our company, which is uh, Bob's Labs. Um, um, it's pretty young brand. We kind of like uh, opened the, this brand in April, uh, but we are not new uh, to the market. We are 15 years in uh, marketing and PR. Um, and uh, Bob's Labs was born with my co-founder, Katie. Uh, some of the, you already know her. She's uh, also a lot of, uh, uh, at the, a lot of events speaking. Um, today, she's with your family in the US, so I'm presenting the company. Uh, my uh, background in IT and business development and here in uh, PR and marketing. And uh, like we come together and said, like we know the industry from both sides, from product development, and from uh, marketing side. So we know how to understand what technology are you building and how to uh, explain it to your target audience. So that's what we are doing. I mean, um, there are a lot of tools in the market you can use to, uh, prod like to, product, uh, to promote your product. But um, how we say in this, like without strategy, all of your actions will be completely chaotic and inefficient. Uh, lots of projects uh, at Web3 market was building in a, such a hustle that they actually couldn't manage to do any groundwork and any sustainable work uh, on a strategy side to understand uh, what kind of actions you need to do to uh, eventually sell your product. That's why uh, every time we are trying to uh, work with new project, we are trying to understand like uh, the good side and the bad side of the project, to understand the weakness and advantages, to get the market opportunities and to build the unique customized strategy for this product. Uh, and like this strategy can include everything, like from PR to influencer marketing to um, kind of like uh, social media management and uh, different types of uh, ad campaigns. But you never know in the beginning because uh, every project is unique and uh, it has own paths. Um, like this is something like we are trying to uh, build and saying like we are starting from the strategy and then go to execution. This is how you build business, not a project. Uh, we work with few very good companies and we are very proud to say that uh, despite our pretty fresh uh, startup, which is like seven uh, months on the market, we work with a very good uh, solid projects uh, and already have uh, something to share. Of course, like our team members are like uh, people, very, very senior people who has much more in their portfolio. <laughs> so I'm sure um, they will be uh, even like uh, their biography uh, was a separate slide, but I didn't include it in the presentation not to keep you boring. Um, so um, talking about marketing and community, as I mentioned before, we are starting with like strategy and branding and then go to uh, community. We never say that uh, like a uh, lot of our team members are kind of like uh, we have a design studio and a lot of them are visual people. We, I am also a visual person. So for me, branding is very important. You need to think about good name. You need to think about like a memorable logo. You need to think about colors. You need to think about how you position yourself on a market, what kind of things you do uh, and what kind of things you want to achieve. Only with this setup of things, you can uh, like build a good strategy and uh, uh, like uh, promote your product eventually. That's why we take a lot of time to like kind of set up all of the things before we are going to market anything. And uh, I'm thinking that this is a crucial part. 
uh, that's why like uh, you remember like uh, um, Unilever or other big brands and you don't remember any other retail brands who never like did the groundwork before so uh, that's why I believe that brand story and what you put to, to the brand is uh, kind of crucial and important that's why you need to start with this and then other things coming after because this is uh, but this is like background like you need to put into the brand and then you can promote it um i am not going to share like all of the case studies i i am sure that um like for those who will be interested can approach to me and uh actually ask about specific details uh but i want to um explain a little bit about common mistakes uh people do on uh, uh some of the services specifically on the pr a uh, lot of people consider PR is a like paid placement. So you go to media, you pay, and they uh, promote your brand. They put the article to the uh, their I don't know what is this like online magazine or uh, published uh, uh, like printed media. But it's not true. It's about relationship. That's why it's called public relationship. Uh, and um, uh, we see that Web three world is a kind of spoiled with pay to play and. Um, there are a few people on the market who really understand uh, what kind of like technology inside the product and they can actually explain this technology in a words that ma uh, mass uh, pe massive people can understand. If you don't do this work, it will never be uh, something that can like sell them themselves, you know. So my uh, vision is right now, like how we trying to uh, pitch the project. We are going to editors of tier one, tier two medias, and we are talking about the story. And this story, if it sells uh, itself, like it will be published. It will take maybe a month. It will be take sometimes even more, but we rewrite the story until the editor say, yeah, this is a story I want to publish. Only organic, nothing uh, kind of play, uh, paid media because you can build uh, 100 uh, links uh, with uh, uh, outsourced company but these links will bring you to the sixth page of google and it will bring you zero uh, conversion so what's uh, what is the point of this public relationship uh, what we are doing a lot uh, we are trying to set up a very cool collaboration uh, this next collaboration will be with disruptors and ahmed and i hope that we will do uh, lots of things together. Uh, I believe that uh, we all uh, learn from Web3 that collaboration is a part where we don't compete, we only uh, complement each other and benefit from synergy. So um, it is also a part of public relationship and lots of things coming out of this uh, relationship when you uh, build it with a good purpose. Uh, so like I hope uh, um, I did a little bit uh, going inside the mystery of PR, uh, which people are sometimes confused with uh, uh, like SEO. <laughs> but, so, but um, uh, I'm happy to answer uh, any questions if you have later on. Uh, any PR strategy also unique. So we are working a lot with kind of angles we can position the company. It will takes time, but uh, it will bring a good result. Uh, like we are working with lots of good uh, tier uh, one, tier two medias and uh, uh, these connections uh, help us uh, to uh, bring uh, good projects on the uh, best places and they enjoyed the outcomes that, uh, that they received afterwards. Uh, like sometimes it's on investment side because lots of people who are fundraising, they are doing PR and they receive the trust and credibility. Uh, and then investors believing in them, they are, and they are uh, like reaching them, uh, people themselves. So it's very important uh, to understand that PR is not only for customers. Lots of them built for B2B business, lots of them built for investors. So it's really, um, it has a lot of uh, goals. That's why when you do PR, first you do strategy, understand the goal, and then we can try to figure out how to, uh, uh, how to pitch you. Yeah, uh, we do also personal branding, which is a very important. A uh, lot of our uh, like, uh, what lot of our clients are now famous, and we are turning to them, asking them for uh, kind of like, can you do an article for me? For example, like George is now working here in the Vive of Wharves and doing the part of entertainment, and like we built his personal brand before he joined the for uh, Forbes. So this is how PR works. 
Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I already mentioned a few of our partners, but uh, it's not all of them. Uh, coming to the tech world and coming to user experience, uh, we believe that user experience is something that Web3 is still missing. And uh, we want to uh, put uh, like more attention here because to set up your wallet takes time because user experience not uh, on, on a level that normal people can onboard so fast. Now we experience that a lot of startups are building a great product just to be the bridge, to be the place where like uh, companies can enter Web3 world, join crypto community and start using crypto. And a lot of them are doing it uh, very well. Let's see the result in a few years. Uh, right now, it's still not very convenient. That's why like, we believe that uh, user experience uh, and good U uh, UX UI design is a crucial for the next uh, uh, generation of startups. We are all learning from mistakes and we know that like, uh, the, it was built, uh, the, the Web3 companies' applications were built by uh, guys from <coughs> from guys development guys they never thought about the market now we are at the stage we need to grow we need to do something uh, to uh, in, like uh, increase mass adoption and that's why like user experience is very important they have a very good design team who can help you to do anything of uh, this uh, and I'm sure that uh, yeah I can share some of the uh, cool stuff we did before I mean um, it's a very <laughs> long story so I don't want to uh, bother you a lot. I just wanted to show a few cases. Yeah, like not to ignore video production, like because we are all living in a clip world that people are allowed to see three seconds videos and they enjoy it. They don't want to see and to read decks and to do any deep research. Like normally they do in a lot of things um, in parallel and that's why their attention needs to be focused. So video production is very important. We also have a small development team, um, like uh, it's a kind of a more supporting team uh, to implement the projects who need to have everything from scratch. Uh, but uh, yeah, and uh, about events, I mean, like now we are, it's a very great event, which I'm thankful and proud to be uh, a part of. Um, and uh, we believe that despite all of this disconnect, it's uh, uh, like global world to live in, in Zoom, we still need a human connection. We still need to build relationship. And that's why events are so important, especially for those who are trying to set up a uh, brand awareness. Uh, that's why um, like our mission also as a team uh, to help you to figure out the concept and uh, implement the event that will match your expectations. Um, like uh, one of the events, which is our initiative, and I hope you will uh, hear about this uh, in next year, because uh, called WebShe, which is about inclusivity uh, in Web3. So it's about uh, people of gender, people of color, pe people of different religions. Who, uh, and of course, it has a lot of angles, which is like social impact angle uh, and uh, creator economy angle. We are trying to uh, bring more diverse projects who are focusing on creator economy and uh, uh, like climate change. So this is our big vision. Um, lots of people are talking about women and our uh, event is also about um, uh, like uh, inclusivity, but um, uh, no one is like showing the importance of it. And uh, I just make some um, research and I'm sure you can find the same things. Uh, but like really, uh, if you take a look at the market and the future grows, you can see that the women will drive the bull market. Uh, and you need to take a look at their at this audience and try to approach them because right now, because now they are in a crypto, so-called crypto curious. So they're interested in crypto, but they still didn't join. And you can be the platform that they will join. Uh, you can uh, become a gateway for them to join uh, this market. Uh, and this is like uh, another th thought that women are spending the family budget and 80% of uh, uh, retail spent by women. So uh, if you give them uh, a car they, uh, with crypto, they can pay in a um, uh, mar market and explain how to do it. Uh, like they will be your best clients. <laughs> so I'm like Binance is already doing it. My mom is using 
this Binance card in, uh, uh, and she is so happy. And she is like the, the uh, one of the cases I can show and tell that, yeah, it's working. You just need to give them a very like easy tool to do it. So uh, that's why like our uh, event is uh, about showing how to build the business and about creating opportunities for um, startups and projects to approach this uh, diverse uh, audience, which is a little bit different from uh, Manuel world. Yeah, uh, we did like few events last year. It was pretty niche, successful. I can say we are doing it uh, together with um, uh, big events that happen in, in cities like we did one in New York, one in London and one in Dubai. And I hope the next March we will do it in Dubai again. So like I, I'm sure I will like uh, all, all of you are, are invited. So <laughs> please let me know <laughs> if you want to join. I'm like I will share the details later. Yeah. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about, I mean, um, uh, you will see the video presentation after, but I want to say that um, we collaborate with an uh, amazing project which called Project Zero. They're doing a climate change um, um, NFTs, like we can't say NFTs because it's a little bit more. Uh, this project is uh, on the map to uh, protect the ocean and restore the ocean. Um, they're like trying to uh, fundraise uh, through like new um, tool which we call NFTs, but they did fundraising like long time ago by normal donations, 10 years. So uh, this project is uh, supported by lots of music musicians, artists all over the world. Um, and um, they are going to do a few events um, uh, next year and the big movie, uh, which will be about uh, pr uh, protection of the ocean and uh, uh, like world wild singers will join this movie and they will donate a song for, for this um, uh, movie uh, to create uh, like this uh, big fundraising for o ocean restorement. Yeah, I think uh, that's all. Uh, thank you for your attention. I hope it was quick and I didn't bore you. <laughs> yeah.